Hello, welcome to Mrs. G's classroom. Just wanted to kind of describe what my everyday looks like. Each day I have a morning meeting with my students and it's the first meeting's basically attendance, go over the schedule for the day, answer any questions they may have, kind of like a morning check-in. I am the math teacher for a grade level, so I teach math. Um, three times. Sometimes we have an afternoon check-in after that. Kind of like the best of both worlds because it's fifth grade, but it's almost like I'm a middle school teacher because I just teach one subject. I don't have to deal with any of the uh, middle school hormones. Can you see me? <laughs> I want to talk about the challenges of teaching lately and um, why I'm having such a hard time. Obviously, the challenge of not seeing your students is hard. You know, teaching is just really hard. Um, I know people say that all the time. I tell Jordan, like, you need to be on all the time. You can't be checked out um, and try to teach. It just, it won't work. I've always been someone that's in school at least an hour before students get there and in at least an hour, usually two hours after they leave. I have given all of myself to teaching for five years. However, I do think it's time for me to step back from the classroom. I had wonderful teachers growing up. I've also loved school. I've always been a, you know, teacher's pet, if you want to call it that. And I've always enjoyed learning. You know, that's probably why I got my master's. I want to keep learning and growing and um, I learned from my students too. And now I just feel a little lost. So now that I'm like, I don't want to be a teacher anymore. It's like, what am I then? Whew. It's like a quarter life crisis. <laughs> and during a pandemic, I have to believe that I'm not the only one feeling this way. And I am nervous for what's going to happen in education in the next school year. I'm nervous for teacher turnover like myself. I'm nervous for our students. That's part of it too, is I feel. I feel guilty taking a step away when I know they need me. But I also know I'm not happy what I'm doing anymore. As much as I love my students, I, for my own mental health, um, I just can't. I can't do it anymore. The question is, where do I go from here? I know I have to have a job where I feel fulfilled, where I feel like I'm doing something positive. So I'm, I'm researching and I'm looking. Um, I made a LinkedIn profile. Step one, <laughs> I've got a husband that's a recruiter, so that's um, gives me a leg up. Um, but it's not easy, so anybody out there looking for a new job, a new career path, I sympathize with you. It's not easy, um, it's a hard decision to make. I also think that I'm putting a lot into this next thing that I do, Jordan has reminded me, it doesn't have to be the thing that you do. You don't have to, you know, pick a thing and that's it. I am excited. I know it's a new chapter. It's exciting still, obviously. And I go back and forth between scared, sad, excited, all of the feelings. So I hope to share with you um, how this goes and where I end up and Maybe you can connect with it a little bit. 